Welcome to Davis Sports Report, where we are continuing coverage of the Paris Olympics. Sunday in women's gymnastics qualifying event, the home team friends had a rough go of it on the beams and the bars, leaving them brokenhearted at the end of the day. For Team USA, they are squarely in the number one spot, leading in the vault, coming in second in the uneven bars, first in the balance beam, and first in floor exercise. We will start off with Sunisa Lee, who looked absolutely amazing in her floor exercise routine. Lee scored a 14.133 in the vault, 14.866 in the uneven bar, 14.033 in the balance beam, and 13.100 in the floor exercise. She will advance to the next round in the all around, uneven bars, and balance beam. Next up is Jordan Childs, who also looked great. I must give it to the designer of the U.S. Gymnastics outfit. They are outstanding. Child scored a 14.33 in the vault, 14.266 in the uneven bars, 13.60 in the balance beam, and 13.866 in the floor exercise. She will advance in the floor exercise. Then we have Jade Carey, the Tokyo gold medalist, and she had a rough go of it today as well. Carey scored 14.66 on the vault, and it's looking like she will advance to the next round in the vault. Last was Simone Biles, who looked shaky for the day as she complained about leg pains, but she was able to shake it off and perform beautifully, scoring 15.800 first place in the vault, 14.433 in the uneven bars, 14.733 also first place in the balance beam, and 14.600, another first place in the floor exercise. Tuesday, July 30th is the women's team finals where the qualifying team will have a clean slate. Currently in the numbers two spot behind Simone Biles is Brazil's golden girl, Rebecca Andretti, who trailed Simone today only by 1.866 points. The teams moving forward for the team finals will be number one, United States, number two, Italy, number three, People's Republic of China, number four, Brazil, number five, Japan, number six, Canada, number seven, Great Britain, number eight, Romania. We want to wish the U.S. team the best of luck and hopefully Simone will be feeling 100% by Tuesday. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you on the next one. Have a great day.